Cast of Vampire Academy, which is streaming on Peacock on September 15th. Please watch it, please. Oh my goodness. Cast of Vampire Academy, welcome to your very first Comic-Con. Yes. How are you feeling right now? We are so thrilled to have you stop by E! News as your first stop. Oh my thank God, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you both. So excited to be here. Yeah. yeah. It's our first Comic Con. I mean, the show's not out yet, but I think we're just so excited. This is such a surreal experience. I think we've all dreamt of this. I'm pinching myself for like yeah. 10 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Is this real? You guys already have such a head start on so many other shows that haven't premiered, though, because, of course, the Vampire Academy book series is so beloved by the yeah. fans, and you have some absolutely incredible showrunners at the helm who know a thing or two about, I don't know, blood-sucking characters. <laughs> um, but just how does it feel knowing that there is so much anticipation for your show coming out? Daniela, Cece? but it's also just an honor for us to like portray these yeah, characters yeah. that were so loved by yeah. these fans. It's really important to us to kind of keep the essence mm -hmm. of the book, you know, but obviously it's like a modern adaptation, so we've changed a few things and it's not going to be exactly the same, but I think we've stayed true to the characters and the relationships, which is where the story is, so I think the fans are going to be, I'm, I think they're going to be satisfied and They've been so supportive anyway, like even despite the fact we might not look like the character description in the books or whatever, they're just like, we're so excited, you're going to do such a great job. So like, we've got all the love right here. I think with the responsibility comes like a huge motivation. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, we all feel super passionate about doing this and it's just been, I think it will show through the screen. A thousand percent. And like, not only is there, like, I love the fact that you're not viewing it as pressure, you're viewing it as an honor to be able to bring these characters to life. But you're also bringing some really steamy relationships to life. <laughs> At what point did you guys realize that you were walking into one of the most passionate shippers that I've ever <laughs> encountered? <laughs> I, think, I think when I booked the role and there was about 50 like edited yeah. things of, yeah. of us. Like, it was all a Twitter yeah, of my yeah, hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, most hot. That was a wild thing. So. Yeah, and they like edited like me and Andre like together like in love yeah, already. Yeah, and yeah. They yeah. Didn't do anything. Or they take the bodies of the actors from yeah. the film. Yeah, and just photoshop on it. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's been really great. Yeah. So, like seeing all that, like it's been a while. Or, I haven't really gotten into fan art drama. Yeah. Yeah. You do it's realize amazing. that it's about to be in your inbox by the end of the day. Yes, like your yeah. DMs are about to be flooded okay. with fan I'm art right now. It. I loved all the fan art that's been sent already, so I'm excited for it. Oh my gosh. I am curious. Um, you guys have filmed the entire first season. I've only seen the first two. I can say there are some steamy scenes. Uh, that's just a general tease for fans. I'm not going to say between who. When you look at the first season, who do you think had the steamiest scene? I, I know the answer to that, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, are we oh allowed to say? I don't, I no, think, uh... no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, there's, okay. A, there's a few of okay. us there. Wait, I, I will say there's, there's, a, there's a lot of Steven. There's a lot. Yeah. I there's think there's a, a clear one or something, maybe. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> Somewhere in there. You're people. like, come through, Peacock. Well, there, is, <laughs> there is one that's not of us, but in the, what, the first episode. And that's that's probably as steamy as it comes, and it's in like the first ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. so you're really getting the audience is getting really what they want, <laughs> and they're getting it quickly. <laughs> that was an unexpected surprise for book lovers, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> that was an unexpected surprise. Um, you guys <laughs> bring these characters to life in such an amazing way, but I know that there was so much preparation and love and care that you put into it. I want to talk to our guardians. What was your guardian boot camp like? Oh, wow. It was just in like training every day that we had time to train. Yeah. We were training. Um, I mean, Cece had a bit more responsibility than me, was always, always filming. So I had a little yeah. bit more leverage to train. Uh, outside of doing my scenes, I was always at stunts and trying to get in the gym as much as possible. The pressure was there. Yeah. But yeah. This one was, was all I tried to do, that's <laughs> hopefully. Um, but yeah, I think just. Uh, the fighting and the, the technique of that was a huge part of the personality of our characters. Oh, so yeah. I think we found yeah. ourselves through the training. And different and, styles, yeah. all the different characters, particularly like watching back some things and watching Max, um, he he has a, just a different style and it suits his character. And then I watched Dimitri fighting and then he has a style that suits his character and then I do as well. Like it, it's... I think part of our history 
was formed into what we did. So yeah. you've got your dance background, I've got yeah, my boxing yeah, yeah, background, yeah. and we incorporated them to make this whole, and then everyone's uh, individual personality just shines through in yeah. everything they do, yeah. be yeah. it from the, the emotional side or the fighting side. Mm. It's quite exciting. Well, really Daniela and Andre, I know that you guys weren't necessarily going through the training, but you were trained on the proper way to bite a neck. <laughs> yep. Can you please break it down, Daniela? I know that Julie gave you some tips. Yeah, she did. She break did. It. Give, us, remember, give us the 101. We were at the screen test, and she was like, okay, I've done this a bunch of times. <laughs> this is how you do it. And there was like a whole like way to make it look good like with the camera angles and everything and they are sharp like they're in your teeth so you have to do it in a way that looks sexy you know because we are sexy vampires but yes, also yes, not yes, gonna yes. Also, yes. also not gonna hurt your feeder so um yeah it was like open tilt back i know it looks weird but just trust it and then just go into it and then yeah I and think it looks great. But, so yeah. we're but Daniela, speaking of not hurting your feeder, is there something you'd like to share with the fans? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I heard from a little blood sucking birdie that you might have accidentally hurt someone with your fangs. <laughs> she just got a little bit excited. Like, it's not well, that bad, you know truly. In my defense, in my defense, there were Wait, so many different teeth <laughs> that like came into it. And they kept editing the teeth, like, sharpness, because I guess, you know, to make it look like real vampires. Yeah. And um, when we did it, they were like, don't worry about it, like, just just bite. And I was like, are you sure? They're like, yeah, yeah, like, I don't feel anything. And then we got the new ones, and I guess I was still doing the same thing. <laughs> and then after a while, she was like, she was so sweet, too. She was like, hey, by the way, um, just, just a little less pressure. I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. So you pierced like, holes in the no, but thankfully I didn't. I did not pierce any holes. Um, but no lawsuit. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing good. fine. But um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of tricky. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> Still looks hot, though. Still looks good. Still looks good. What was it like, though, the first time you got to wear your practical fangs? No, I actually didn't get to wear fangs in the thing, which is, yeah, I know, a little unfortunate. <laughs> Wait, not at all? Maybe, no, not at all. Maybe for next season I will. I get okay. to add that in there. Maybe a little request on it to Julia Marguerite. But uh, what it was like for you? I basically feel so good because I was so jealous of the fans. I know! Like, I was like, no, oh my really god! Like, the fans were fun, so been cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. We did the molding, which was disgusting. It was like poopy. But um, yeah, and then we did a couple different tries. We put them in these teeth, those teeth. I mean, we did it all really. Mm -hmm. the, the things you gotta do to become a vampire. I know, right? right? Oh my really gosh. Cool. Well, guys, my last question for you is obviously, there's so much anticipation for this show between book fans and non book fans. What is the one thing that you think that audiences should know before they tune in? I know that's a loaded question. Um. I think so much passion and thought went into it from every part of the process, be it from the guys on the floor, the, every, the writing room, the, produ the production side, mm, every actor mm. I encountered, everyone yeah. put their heart and soul into what they were doing. Yeah. And I think if that's enough, uh, a good job. I hope. Yeah, I guess yeah. Some people take that way and see it. And yeah, be so many, so many people put so much hard work into it, and i think we you know we did it out of love for yeah. the story and the characters and and the fans especially and so i know it's important to all of us to to make sure that the fans are happy and like i said i really think i really think they will be and you know like we we made friends and we we lived in spain for a while and we had this wonderful experience and watching the last the, the first two episodes all of us in the last couple of days it's like we finally see something like quantifiable in our hands and we're yeah. watching it and be like oh my god all of that work was was it was so worth it and here's something that we made together i think for so. the audience as well just to keep open-minded yeah yes. you're gonna there's a lot in there so yeah. i think yeah. if people can attack it with a clear heart yeah, I mean, and an open mind you're gonna be i was gonna say excited. i think if you're coming into this thinking it's gonna be like one type of genre you might be a little surprised yeah, yeah. 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 pleasantly surprised yeah. yeah and don't you worry for all the fans out there who are not book fans you can find Vampire Academy 101 coming to E! online soon because we are breaking Ooh. down we go. the three to four different types of vampires that are yeah. on this show, depending on who you ask. Yeah, you guys right. did a great job with those answers <laughs> yesterday, so I really appreciate it. Have fun at your first Comic-Con. Soak it all in. You know, this is the place that Twilight is what made Comic-Con become a pop culture landmark Team Robert. and so just sink your teeth into that you guys have Ooh, fun like today oh, like you know i got the vampire pies oh.